Finally, tonight, a rare look behind the scenes of the art world and everything that goes into the displays you see when you walk into a gallery. Arts editor Jared Bowen brings us the story behind the shows at the Harvard Art Museums. In the galleries of the Harvard Art Museums, you'll find room after room of methodically curated paintings, sculpture, and prints, each one with art to show and stories to share. We actually start very early on um, kind of coming up with our initial lists of what we might like to include in any given gallery. Uh, and then uh, basically it's a process of elimination. Until they go on view here, all photography is held inside a vault called cold storage. Box upon box of photographs kept at a cool 55 degrees with 40% humidity, thanks to constantly humming air conditioning. This particular temperature will help reduce the chemical reactions, so it allows the color of the photography to sustain itself longer. When there are problems or questions about works of art, they often land with conservation scientist Georgina Rayner. I have um, a piece here today. It is um, a Japanese print that's, um, that will go up on exhibition in the future. And so one of the questions about this piece is the blue pigment. Rainer uses scientific analysis to determine the condition of pieces and whether they've suffered from issues like light damage. For that, she uses this machine called the microfader. Um, we have this xenon lamp which um, shines an intense light onto the artwork and then the reflected light, which is what we uh, perceive as color, is collected by the spectrometer and so we can see the color change happening. That's also the work of the team upstairs in the Strauss Conservation Center, although it's decidedly more low-tech. Here, a porcupine quill is among the tools of the trade used to treat and conserve works on paper, like this centuries-old Indian drawing. This lab, we take care of watercolors, prints, drawings, photographs. We repair tears and we fill holes and we look at everything for stability. Works on paper, which are especially susceptible to light damage, can only be on view for four to six months at a time, says senior conservator Penley Knight. For other types of damage, there's a simple solution in solution. If it's a regular, um, like, intaglio print, like an etching or an engraving, and the paper's darkened, we can actually put it in a bath of water, usually, after we've done some testing, and get a lot of that discoloration out. Wait, so you, this, I know, I wish we'd set it up for you, actually. <laughs> but you actually take an old master print and put it in water? Yeah, routinely. How does that work? So paper is very sized with gelatin or something, so it doesn't just fall apart. The Strauss Center is also the site of sleuthing, where works are routinely scanned and discoveries are made. Old inscriptions. What we mostly are discovering are the way the artists work. So we might find um, underdrawing. After everything you've just seen, this is where we meet the work. With security fit for a VIP, says exhibitions manager Karen Gauch. So there's a whole traveling situation that a painting or a drawing will go through from storage to here where it's crated and it's handled with gloves, it's in a climate control vehicle, the location is scanned and tracked wherever it goes. And once they're here, like these 19th century prints and paintings, virtually all that's required, just like at home, are a hammer and nails. The level of the height from the floor is always 61 inches to a center eye line. This is a standard visitor height. And we also have security in place. We have alarms on things and security hardware and a little bit of extra connections that you might not have in your home. Department after department, team after team, it's a hive of activity, all for our viewing pleasure. Jared Bowen, WGBH News. If you want to check out the Harvard Art Museums in person, you can find all you need to know online at harvardartmuseums.org.